हेलो एवरीवन एंड बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आज आप सभी लोगों का आ, हमारे रेगुलर बाई वीकली सेशन में और आज हमारे साथ बहुत ही स्पेशल गेस्ट गेस्ट नहीं गेट्स गेस्ट हैं कपल हरतेज एंड संरक्षणी और आ, उनको आ, ये हैंड ओवर करने से पहले हम अपने ग्रुप के बारे में थोड़ा सा इंट्रोडक्शन देंगे स्पेशली उन लोगों के लिए जो फर्स्ट टाइम ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं कि व्हाट इज दिस ग्रुप इज ऑल अबाउट व्हाट वी डू एंड व्हाई वी आर डूइंग दिस काइंड ऑफ सेशंस इन अदर वर्क्स आई जस्ट कीप ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट दैट एंड देन क्विकली विल हैंड ओवर टू आवर स्पेशल गेस्ट टुडे सो ये हमारा ग्रुप है जो फेसबुक ग्रुप पे आप सभी लोग जानते हैं कि कैंसर सर्वाइवर्स इन इंडिया इस नाम से ये शुरू हुआ था और इसको स्टार्ट करने वाले सावन थे बट ग्रेजुअली आई थिंक धीरे धीरे बाकी लोगों ने ज्वाइन किया एंड मेहुल है पीयूष है कृष्णा है और नेहा भी आई मीन देर निहार जी हैं सो वी ऑल आर देयर एंड वी वुड रियली अप्रिशिएट कि हमें और भी लोग ज्वाइन करें वी आर एक्चुअली यू नो लाइक स्वप्नल हैज ज्वाइन अस रिसेंटली सो मोर एंड मोर पीपल इफ ज्वाइन आई मीन वी वुड बी एबल टू रियली रीच आउट मोर सेट ऑफ पीपल और बेसिकली हमारा काम जब आई मीन द वे वी स्टार्टेड वॉज कि इस पूरी कैंसर जर्नी में कैसे हम लोगों को पॉजिटिव बना के रख सके सो दैट दे आर एबल टू सेल थ्रू दर डिफिकल्ट जर्नी एंड आई मीन इट्स इट्स ऑल्सो डिफिकल्ट फॉर अयर केयर टेकर सो जो भी उनके क्वेश्चन होते हैं इवन इफ इट इज मेडिकल रिलेटेड इमोशनल सपोर्ट होता है कुछ भी होता है जो भी जिस तरह के भी चैलेंजेस होते हैं वी ट्राई टू हेल्प इन अवर ओन वे uh and all of us here are either patient or caregiver so we all are touched by touched by cancer in some or other way so uh ye hamara rehta we also try ki uh, we can provide social and psychological emotional support we raise awareness about cancer diagnosis uh and detection and treatment usi series mein hum log uh, doctors ko bhi invite karte hain to talk about uh, the you know the cancer and symptoms and the treatment also to, also uh, work towards uh, removing social stigma about cancer in the society i mean all of you might have seen some or other time ki kaise hum log uh, ek kind of stigma feel karte hain you know jab apni cancer ke bare mein uh, kisi se baat karte hain ya yeah, you know the way society in general treat the cancer patients uh, and uh, to also cancer advocacy the research and government support and then fundraising and funding cancer treatment or उसी के साथ हमारा जो एक इनिशिएटिव स्टार्ट हुआ था वो था क्लैस ट्रस्ट के रूप में जहाँ पे वी आर रजिस्टर्ड नाउ एंड वी आर एबल टू हेल्प फिनेंशियली एज वेल एंड आल्सो वी डू सम सम अदर एक्टिविटीज लाइक कैंप वी वी आर अरेंजिंग एंड या सो इट्स आई मीन इट्स इट्स वी आल्सो आई वुड लाइक टू अपील यूजिंग दिस प्लेटफॉर्म की आप जैसे भी हमें हेल्प करना चाहें जैसे भी यू वांट टू कंट्रीब्यूट प्लीज डू दिस इट्स इट्स समथिंग विच वी आर ट्राइंग फ्रॉम अवर साइड अवर साइड वेरी सेल्फलेसली जस्ट टू रीच आउट टू अदर पेशेंट्स एंड आल्सो मेक पीपल अवेयर नॉट टू फॉल फॉर द काइंड ऑफ फ्रॉड एंड अदर स्कैम्स बिकॉज वी नो द कैंसर इज अ बिग मार्केट आई मीन इट्स विच इज अश टूथ बट दैट्स अ रियलिटी Uh, इसी के साथ मैं ज्यादा टाइम अब नहीं लूंगी क्योंकि आई थिंक एज वी कैन सी वी हैव समी एंड हर तेज एन इट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू फील मैंने आपका नाम सही से नहीं लिया प्लीज फील फ्री टू टू इंटरप्ट एंड करेक्ट मी एंड आई थिंक एवरीबडी अलॉन्ग विथ एवरी वन लाइक आई एम ऑल्सो इक्वली वेरी वेरी एक्साइटेड टू हैव यू एंड थैंक यू सो मच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू इमिडिएटली एक्सेप्ट अवर इन्विटेशन uh to be a uh, speaker today because not everybody wants to talk about their journey and yours is the very special one and i do understand it's a personal one one as well but you know hope ki kafi logo ko isse bahut ummeed milne wali hai uh na ki i mean it's not just about having your treatment completed and but it is also about you 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 know you get back to the normal thing getting married and uh having companion in your life jo हम लोगों को लगता है शायद कैंसर के बाद पॉसिबल नहीं है सो अगेन वेलकम एंड संरक्षण हरतेज आई मीन इट्स 
आई मीन वी डोंट हैव अ फॉर्मेट आप जैसे जाओ आपको लगता है कि यू नो व्हाट इज द बेस्ट वे यहां पे आप इस प्लेटफार्म को यूज करके यू वांट टू शेयर योर जर्नी इट्स कंप्लीटली अप टू यू टू बोथ ऑफ यू एंड लास्ट में आई थिंक 15 मिनट्स विल कीप and 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 it's okay 5 10 minutes we keep the buffer so don't worry about that uh, and last me if anybody have question just we'll take those questions up you you can raise your hands then and we'll ask yes good evening everyone thank you for inviting us here i'm dr samrakshini i'm 32 year old i'm a doctor i'm also a cancer survivor i was practicing gynecology since almost 6 to 7 years now and i was into ivf uh, post my cancer treatment only so i was uh, 29 when i was uh, diagnosed with breast cancer i was diagnosed with a very early stage of cancer it was stage 1 uh, because i was at risk of cancer uh, because i had a family history of cancer so mai every 6 uh, months mein ya every one year mein mai apni regular scans karwati thi even before having a symptom I never had any breast lump. मतलब कुछ भी symptoms नहीं था कुछ भी नहीं था But I used to get it scanned every six months because uh, my sister, my मेरी दीदी को cancer थी before my diagnosis, like uh, two and half years before my diagnosis, uh, my sister was diagnosed. So uh, because when your sister, like uh, own sister, is having cancer, you are obviously at high risk of breast cancer. So that is how I was undergoing regular screening, and then during a screening test only I was diagnosed. Like the cancer tumor was very small. Ah, uh, its size almost eight mm. Tha eight mm. Even the doctor could not find it out. He, uh, like while ah, uh, जब surgery कर रहे थे, doctor asked me to locate the tumor and show it to me. Show it to him because he was not even able to you know pinpoint where the tumor is. So I was this way. I was uh, lucky enough to know my risk. and then uh, i did not ignore my risk because uh, this thing happens with lot of people because even though if they know that they are at risk they might not follow the screening protocols so i knew that risk zone and i was following the protocols and uh, that is how i was diagnosed early but then after my diagnosis only uh, the thought of uh, uh, life after cancer came to me before that i didn't think of anything बट देन जब मेरा डायग्नोसिस हुआ एंड uh, मैं घर पे बैठी थी ट्रीटमेंट कर, uh, करवाते हुए तो मुझे लगा कि हाउ विल माय लाइफ चेंज आफ्टर दिस एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स एंड आई वाज ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट टू अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एट दैट टाइम टिल दैट टाइम आई वाज स्टडीइंग एक्चुअली टिल दैट टाइम लाइक आई वाज डूइंग माय एम बी बी एस डी जी ओ डी एन बी लाइक आई वॉज आई आई डिड नॉट स्टार्ट माई प्रैक्टिस ये बाई ट्वेंटी नाइन आई आई जस्ट कम्प्लीटेड माई डी एन बी आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉज जस्ट अबाउट टू एंटर माई कंसल्टेंट phase so us time pe i was sitting at home and then uh, first thing i could find was this uh, cancer survivor group on facebook cancer survivors india so when i sent a request into that and i was accepted i, I really felt very good to connect to a lot of cancer survivors caregivers and there was a lot of discussion like very advanced discussion going on there uh, i think uh, after joining maybe in one or two days i have shared about uh, some uh, breast cancer uh, uh, like research or something and then there was a discussion which has happened in that before that matlab pehle ho chuka tha to mujhe bahut acha laga ki there is a group of people who are you know uh, very well informed about cancer they want to uh, help each other they want to you know supported and all these things mujhe acha laga and i got inspired with people like uh, hartij and this uh, mehul bhaiya and uh, like lot of people i was seeing online who were very vocal about their cancer and they were even telling that uh, we did this mistake you don't do you should not do this mistake and all these things i just uh, felt very very inspired and i have sent a uh, like message to like uh, whoever i have come across i have sent a message to lot of them saying that you are doing a great job uh, like you are an inspiration and all these things i felt uh, this uh, uh, like they are doing a great job because uh, my family was not that ready uh, for me like they didn't uh, think that i'll be talking about cancer in a public platform but then jab uh, time badhta gaya they were fine with it but initially i wanted to do something related to cancer but i did not do what to do and how to do so that is how i got connected to a lot of uh, you know people who are doing uh, awareness programs and all these things i was also a part of ngo Uh, which is based in hyderabad and uh, they were conducting cancer awareness programs and then uh, screening campaigns and all these things so uh, these three years apart from my treatment most of my uh, like free time i contributed to like awareness programs and all these things so this is how it went 
So hello everyone. My name is Hartij. I am 34. I just turned 34 and uh, had cancer uh, at the age of 23. So my cancer was like that I had a Susan on the right side and I didn't know that it was cancer. I was studying in Delhi and I was doing law. So when I felt a little bit that Susan is here, I started to go to the doctor. In the initial 6 months, we had some treatment that the doctor is giving us. After that, I was told to go to the doctor for one or two FNACs, which I underwent and nothing came up. So for a year, my cancer was not diagnosed. And after that, मैं हैदराबाद आया मेरे भाई के पास, so he said that it's been a year now and कुछ तो है at least हमें पता होना चाहिए proper इसका एक diagnosis होना चाहिए from scratch, so then I went to a doctor, she suggested me to visit an oncology surgeon and she suggest she suspected that it could be malignant but obviously that needs a biopsy, तो जब biopsy कराई तो पता चला कि third stage का cancer है Hodgkin's lymphoma और अभी मैं उस समय फोर्थ सेमेस्टर सॉरी फोर्थ ईयर में था मेरे कॉलेज के तो हम लोग बहुत ही मतलब मेरा फैमिली में कोई कैंसर हिस्ट्री नहीं है सब पढ़े लिखे हैं लेकिन डर तो सबको लगता है और जब पता चला कि अरे कीमो लेना पड़ेगा कैंसर है तो कैंसर से कोई नहीं डर रहा था कोई भी कभी नहीं डर रहा कि कैंसर हो गया क्या हो गया बट हमने कीमोथेरेपी का नाम सुना है और कीमोथेरेपी में हम देखते हैं कि हम बूढ़े लगने लगते हैं हमारे को सांस नहीं आ रही है हम चल नहीं पा रहे ये वो दस बीस चीजें तो मुझे भी वही फील हुआ तो मुझे लगा कि क्यों ना कोई ऐसा रास्ता ढूंढे कि मैं ठीक भी हो जाऊं और मेरे को कीमो भी नहीं लेनी पड़े और मैं सबको बता, बताता हूं उस बारे में कि ये गलत डिसीजन है और यही डिसीजन मुझे थर्ड से फोर्थ स्टेज में कैंसर पे लाया लेकिन फिर भी मैं ये नहीं कहना चाहता कि जो मैंने किया वो शायद दूसरे को फायदा नहीं होगा उससे बट मुझे तो नहीं हुआ तो मैंने एक साल के लिए ऑल्टरनेटिव ट्रीटमेंट शुरू किया कीमो की बजाय एक साल बीत गए थोड़ा बहुत चेकअप करवाता रहा पेट तो एक साल निकला ट्रीटमेंट कराया फिर मैंने एक पेट सीटी कराया उस समय मेरी तबीयत बहुत खराब थी दिस वाज ईयर 2013 टू बी स्पेसिफिक इट वाज अप्रैल 2013 सो सॉरी 2014 सो आई आई वाज इन बैंगलोर डूइंग माय एमबीए आई कंप्लीटेड माय ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम दिल्ली आई स्टार्टेड माय एमबीए सो मेरे भाई ने बोला चलो ठीक है तुम्हारी तबीयत ठीक नहीं लग रही है हमें कुछ पेट सीटी कराना चाहिए हमने पेट सीटी कराया जब पेट सीटी कराया तो पता चला कि अभी कैंसर फोर्थ स्टेज में है और ऑब्वियसली एक और टेस्ट करवाया जो हमने बोन मैरो टेस्ट करवाया उसमें पता चला कि मेरे कैंसर जो है मेरे बोन मैरो में भी है तो नाउ मैं मतलब मेरे पास ऑप्शन नहीं थे बचने के इन मेडिकल टर्म्स माय डॉक्टर ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट सेड दैट आई हैव 5 परसेंट चांसेस ऑफ सर्वाइवल दो हॉस्किन लिम्फोमा इज ऑफन टैग्ड एज अ गुड कैंसर बट स्टिल एंड ऑफ द डेट अ कैंसर एंड आई एम इन द लास्ट स्टेज ऑफ दैट कैंसर तो एंड आई रिमेम्बर वाइल आई गॉट ट्रीटेड इन हैदराबाद तो मैं मेरा इनिशियल टेस्ट जो ये वाले हुए थे बोन मैरो वाले वो बैंगलोर में हुए थे बट वी वॉन्टेड टू बी ट्रीटेड फर्स्ट इन अ गुड प्लेस विथ आई डोंट से दैट बैंगलोर इज नॉट दैट प्लेस बट गिवन दैट आई वॉन्टेड सम वन टू बी इन दैट सिटी और हैदराबाद में मेरा भाई ऑलरेडी रह रहा था तो दैट्स हाउ वी नैरोड डाउन आर सर्च कि हॉस्पिटल तो अच्छा होना ही चाहिए बट साथ साथ में हमारा वहाँ कोई अपना भी होना चाहिए क्योंकि आई रिमेम्बर वी यूज टू वेट फॉर ऑटो फॉर फोर्टी फिफ्टी मिनट्स वी वर नॉट हैविंग एनी थिंग तो हम कम से कम इतना सेटिस्फेक्शन चाहते थे कि दैट इन केस ऑफ इमरजेंसी मेरा भाई या कोई भी जो भी है हमें लेके जा सके हॉस्पिटल इसलिए हमने हैदराबाद चूज किया और जब मैं बैंगलोर से हैदराबाद आ रहा था आई रिमेम्बर आई माई लाइक फीट्स आर लाइक दिस राइट मेरे पैर ऐसे थे और आई वॉज वॉकिंग लाइक दिस सो एयरपोर्ट सिक्योरिटी सॉ मी एंड दे ट्राइट फिस्किंग मी विच इज एब्सोल्यूटली फाइन एंड द मोमेंट माई सिस्टर शोड मी दोड दैम द रिपोर्ट दे एक्चुअली गुड केयर ऑफ मी और मुझे पूरा गाइड किया जहां तक लेके जाना था तो ये सिचुएशन थी मेरी और जब मैंने ट्रीटमेंट शुरू किया 2014 में तो मेरे 12 कीमो हुए एवरी 15 डेज आई टू हैव वन कीमो एंड माय डॉक्टर नेम इज डॉक्टर सेंथिल राजप्पा ही वाज एक्चुअली इन बैंगलोर के डुबई बिफोर लेटर ऑन ही ज्वाइन बसवत आरखम वेयर आई गॉट ट्रीटेड एंड आफ्टर सिक्स मंथस Uh, I and uh, my treat uh, cancer was gone. In fact, after ten chemo, my cancer was gone. And uh, by tenth chemo, my health itni kharaab hone lagi thi. Jabki mera treatment thi ko, uh, mera cancer chala gaya tha, because we had a pet city beach mein karwai thi. But doctor ka bolna tha ki tumne ek baar apne haath jala li hai. What he meant was ki maine ek saal to delay kari liya tha pehle, right? So ab main tumhe apna haath nahi jalane dunga. He was very sure that I will not allow you to leave the treatment midway because it's a course. कोर्स खत्म नहीं छोड़ नहीं सकते बीच में 
he was very uh, forceful on that and actually we respected that because whenever we had doubt on him we always tried checking for a second opinion initially not during the treatment when the treatment got started we always trusted him and when he said it we went ahead to 12 chemo hue november tak mein main theek ho gaya ek ek pet ct hua last aur sara cheez ja chuka tha to december was absolute cancer free life of to uh, for me in 2014 this was with respect to my cancer treatment थैंक यू इतनी सारी डिटेल शेयर करने के लिए एंड आई थिंक इट्स 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 अ अगेन अनदर एग्जांपल वेयर वी आर टेलिंग पीपल कि आप अल्टरनेटिव ट्रीटमेंट और कोई भी इस तरह की जो चीजें एंड स्पेशली जब किसी को पता चलता है कि किसी को कैंसर है तो विदाउट इवन नोइंग व्हाट व्हाट इज द सोर्स पीपल स्टार्ट फॉरवर्डिंग टू कैंसर पेशेंट कि आप ये करो और इस तरह का ट्रीटमेंट लो या ये अल्टरनेटिव लो एलोपैथी में कुछ नहीं रखा है और हम लोग कितना डरे हुए होते हैं ना हम हम लोग yeah. जो सीन हम हमारे दिमाग में क्रिएट होते हैं वी वी फॉल फॉर इट एंड वी नॉर्मली नॉर्मली व्हाट वी डू इज कि हम लोग वो करते हैं तो आई थिंक इन अदर एग्जांपल वेयर योर मैसेज इज वेरी वेरी क्लियर कि दैट्स नॉट द राइट वे एंड हमारे ग्रुप में भी व्हेन समबडी टॉक्स अबाउट इट एट लीस्ट फ्रॉम आवर साइड वी डोंट एनकरेज दैट एंड देन देन इट्स टू इट्स अप टू देम तो ये बहुत अगेन आई मीन इट्स 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 अप्रिशिएट we appreciate aapne ye share kiya tej yeah. and uh, uh, also some rakshani i mean the journey you shared i mean aapka khud ka awareness and your own diagnosis which like you know you were aware of this thing and you were monitoring it well it could be it, it was diagnosed at a very early stage so the way why people should be aware of the symptoms why they should do the regular screening irrespective of what the age is you know and and it it, it doesn't i mean you are you were just 29 exactly itna jaldi ye hone ka matlab log nahi sochte ki is tarah ki koi bimari ho sakti hai hum log ek na so called older people disease kehte hain and her age was just 23 i mean ye uh, i mean with with all these stories when we have people here we learn so many things and we want to really share as much as we can uh, so you know aapke baad aapne ye to apni individual journey share ki what actually happened between you how you met with each other and then how you came so closer and abhi aap i mean you you are engaged and going to start a new chapter of your life which is very very inspiring and interesting you would like to hear more about that Yeah, yeah, yeah. just before that i want to talk about the treatment part which we are discussing sure people who are like um, like we are common people right but then there are celebrities also and when i once i spoke to a very famous celebrity whose son had cancer right i spoke to him on call the question he asked me hartij why do you support chemotherapy right his son got treated he is absolutely well i'm uh, like very happy with it uh, but then the question was this and my answer was that because it saved my life लेट्स से मेरे पास पांच परसेंट चांसेस थे और शायद कीमो लेने के बाद नहीं भी बसता तो शायद ये चलता बाद में स्टोरी बैकग्राउंड में कि अरे उसने कीमो ले ली राइट तो वो तो बात की बात है ना पता ही नहीं है अभी मैं नहीं बसता तो शायद यही स्टोरी चल रही होती लेकिन क्योंकि मैंने पहले कोई और ट्रीटमेंट लिया और वो मुझ पर नहीं काम आया मैं आई डोंट हैव एनी इशू पीपल वॉन्ट टू टेक सम अदर ट्रीटमेंट प्लीज गो ऑन राइट इफ समी आस्क मी आई विल ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट एलोपैथी तो एवरी वन नॉट इवन कॉमन पीपल लाइक दस बट दिलिब्रिटीज और लेट्स ए सम Uh, let's say people who have access to everything let's say monetary wise also like if we want to get treated we might we might get treated in india for example but if someone has a great uh, access to everything they might go abroad also right but they also don't want to take chemotherapy because they are afraid to ye sabke dimag mein hamare aapke aur har level ke bande pe ya matlab society mein ki matlab chemo nahi lena right uh, now you can start yeah. before telling about our journey i would like to add one more thing so uh, when i have started my screening uh, scans like the monitoring i was around 27 so uh, before 27 i did not know that i had a family history so jab mujhe pata chala i have started it and then uh, it's specifically for breast cancer i am telling if you have a family history agar aapke uh, mummy ko hai nahi to sister ko hai nahi bua ko matlab closest family members ko agar breast cancer hai to you have to start your screening at 25 years of age Even up to कुछ भी symptoms ना हो फिर भी you have to start. General population will start at फोर्टी that is okay. But for people who have risk, they have to start at ट्वेंटी फाइव तो जब मुझे पता चला I have done a screening of almost टू years before my diagnosis. So all my three scans which I have done in my टू years, they were normal. The immediate like जिस scan में मेरा diagnosis हुआ उसके पहले scan like six months पहले का भी scan में बिल्कुल normal था So you can never say कि I was normal a few days ago. Suddenly मुझे cancer कैसे हो सकता है You can't say. 
you you are at risk then you have to accept it and you have to follow it as it is so that is what uh, and coming to uh, how i met him <laughs> so when i was diagnosed and i was sitting at home and i was searching for people who are actually talking about cancer because uh, i used to like people who were vocal about it and who were strong enough to discuss about it because cancer is something which is a very big trauma for youngsters obviously for everyone but then who are in this age group uh, we are already dealing with our education we are dealing with our, uh, like relationships family and we want to set up our life we want to be settled and all these things and suddenly ek aisa matlab uh, situation aa gaya jisme aapko everything will get affected so uh, i just wanted to uh, you know uh, uh, you know talk to people connect with people who have simi similar ideology so i kept on adding to like uh, sending requests to a lot of uh, this kind of groups like cancer survivor group not only in india like whatever cancer survivor group i have found i have sent requests to them i have sent messages to lot of people appreciating not seeking any kind of help like uh, even after i have sent message to uh, like some people yeah. they uh, yeah, i have sent a you know appreciation message to mehul bhai also he was like uh, do you need any help or anything like that like that is a routine in the practice maybe so i said no bhaiya i don't uh, need any help but i just wanted to uh, you know thank you for being so vocal about it because it is a very much required thing though i am in a uh, medical fraternity like i have a lot of access to oncologists like i can speak to oncologists at any time but then the way i can connect with a survivor doesn't you know it it doesn't match with the connection i have with the oncologist so i just wanted to connect with more and more people i felt uh, if i talk about my trauma the amount of uh, impact it is giving me might get reduced if you accept it and if you talk about it uh, then i felt i was feeling better so i was doing this more often and uh, that is how i connected with hartij also uh, he did not respond to me immediately <laughs> no the reason is because usually the message gets filtered in instagram mm -hmm. so when it comes you don't get notified immediately and, and yes i was having covid that time so that's a diff another story which i'll share but yes Haan, so was, the, yeah. uh, the main point of connecting was this only like i just wanted to talk about cancer and i wanted to appreciate people like i have seen hatish so this ride of hope videos and all these things i was very much impressed like someone who came out of uh, fourth stage of cancer and he is so positive and obviously like ride is something you know everyone will be excited about like uh, like he has ridden all over india so that was something very exciting <laughs> so all these things yeah. this, this is how i messaged him and he responded after few days yeah. and then uh, i was still undergoing treatment at that time i was undergoing uh, see though i was diagnosed very early i had my surgery first and then i had my chemotherapy and radiation everything i had because uh, that was a very rapidly going, growing tumor and for uh, younger age groups they say uh, it's better to give all the treatment rather than uh, cutting it off so i was undergoing my second round of chemo i guess uh, so after i connected with him i have completed my chemo and radiation so meanwhile he was asking me like how are you doing and all these things like in a casual way so throughout my treatment i was updating him ki this this is going going on and then both of us uh, underwent treatment most of my treatment was uh, like at uh, this hospital only baswatarakam hospital where he had his chemotherapy so that was also a link yeah. so mujhe iska message aaya and luckily luckily or unluckily that year i left my job so i was working from 5 5 years or uh, covid first wave ke baad main apne home town pahunch gaya riva aur uh, uske baad maine decide kiya ki i'll take some break due to some medical reasons of my family Not me. और जब मैंने जॉब छोड़ा उसके पंद्रह बीस दिन बाद मुझे कोविड हो गया और कोविड में मुझे ऐसा हुआ कि आई लिटरली हैड टू मैसेज माई ब्रदर दैट आई डोंट ओ एनी वन एनी मनी दीज आर माई अकाउंट डिटेल्स बिकॉज मोर देन कैंसर आई थॉट कैंसर आई सर्वाइव बट कोविड आई विल नॉट बिकॉज आई वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली गॉन मेरे को सांस नहीं आता था मेरा लेवल एक पोजिशन में आई हैड टू कॉल माई एम्बुलेंस गिवेन दैट माई ब्रदर वॉज हैविंग कोविड I was having COVID, and my parents, who are elder, they didn't have COVID. But if they catch it, things are gonna go like absolutely uh, no wrong way. So it's not problems. Tha. I saw her message when probably after uh, seven or eight days of my diagnosis, because I was jag raha tha raat bar. Meri nidi nahi hoti thi. Main raat ko char baje so raha hu. Subah gyaara baje uth raha hu. And all time I'm coughing. So ye mera COVID ka face tha. So iske alawa mere job to thani isne chhod diya tha. So I had ample time also to like. just to rest that's it and i usually get message every now and then 
everybody gets i mean even mehul bhaiya now when she gets it so that's how i started responding to her that this is what i have done and i understand that we don't talk about cancer so even if somebody who is doctor they will also go under, uh, go the same uh, trauma of being a cancer patient currently and probably later on a survivor to mera isse is tarah baat shuru hua aur ye baat kuch 7 8 mahine tak chalti rahi jab iska treatment khatam hua इस दौरान एक चीज ये हुई कि मेरे भाई बहनों को मैंने रीवा नहीं आने दिया आई एम यंगेस्ट ऑफ फाइव एंड मेरे सबसे बड़े भैया रीवा में रहते हैं और बाकी तीन लोग जो हैं डिफरेंट सिटीज में रहते हैं विच इज रायपुर मुंबई एंड रायपुर हैदराबाद एंड मुंबई तो क्योंकि मेरे पेरेंट्स की एज ज्यादा है आई डेंट वॉन्टेड माई सिबलिंग्स टू विजिट हियर एंड ऑब्वियसली माई पेरेंट्स वर नॉट लाइकिंग दिस डिसीजन ऑफ माइंड एंड गिवेन दैट दे वॉन्टेड टू मीट दे ग्रैंड केज एंड ऑल राइट सो आई प्रोमिस दैन अलाउ मी समाइम Once this everything gets over, I get fine and by end of the year, मैं आपको कार से लेके जाऊंगा So I drove my family around फाइव सिक्स थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स इन फिफ्टीन डेज मेकिंग माई पेरेंट्स विजिट माई ऑल थ्री सिविल रायपुर हैदराबाद एंड मुंबई सो शी लिवस इन शी वॉज वर्किंग इन हैदराबाद शी इज फ्रॉम हैदराबाद सो जब मैं हैदराबाद अपने भाई के पास पहुंचा तो देन आई मेट हर एंड दैट्स हाउ आई मीट एवरी वन कि मतलब बिकॉज वी आर सर्वाइवर्स आई लाइक मीटिंग सेम पीपल सेम काइंड ऑफ पीपल हुई लाइक कैंसर हिस्ट्री और लेट्स इवन द केयर गिवर्स वी जस्ट मेट दैट सेट एंड देन वापिस आ गया मैं सब करके एंड देन शी स्टार्ट लुकिंग फॉर हॉर जॉब अगेन बिकॉज का ट्रीटमेंट खत्म हो गया इसने जॉब करना शुरू किया एंड मैं तब भी वो काम नहीं कर रहा था इसका जॉब लगा है और उसके महीने भर बाद मेरा जॉब लग गया है और लोग पूछते हैं ना कि व्हाट मेड यू थिंक कि तुम लोग साथ रहो या ये रहो तो मैं हमेशा सबको बोलता हूँ कि देर वॉज नथिंग लाइक कि किसी ने किसी को प्रपोज किया या फिर कुछ किया लेकिन वी बॉन्डेड ओवर कैंसर और हमारा मकसद ऑलमोस्ट सेम है वो डॉक्टर uh, होके एक सर्वाइवरशिप की भी व्यू uh, देती है आई एम नॉट अ डॉक्टर बट आई हैव अ लॉट ऑफ लाइक बैकग्राउंड हिस्ट्री ऑफ बींग सर्वाइवर एंड देन आई नो सो मेनी सर्वाइवर्स तो ये सब हमारा मुद्दा एक है राइट right? and 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 obviously then we we have a mutual respect for each other and, uh, I, we don't talk much about a particular thing but the thing but is that even I I I had a relationship before I, I mean when I got cancer right and that didn't go well because of my cancer history and worst part she is a doctor she was with someone who is a doctor right and then they backed out right so now you know there are all kinds of people people from fraternity people who don't belong to fraternity of the uh, medical background everyone will behave same so i have no nothing against anyone who bags out or something right because it's a human nature right agar ho sakta hai i cannot bet on that ho sakta hai main hi back out kar jata agar kabhi kisi ko hota to ye to main abhi itni samajhdari ki baat isliye kar raha hu kyunki i have been through it right so you never know how human behaves when actual problems comes comes up to that's how we got connected and then maine jo campaign kar rakha hai maine isse bola ki see मेरा एक बहुत ड्रीम है टू हैव माय कंपेनियन बीसाइड मी वाइल राइडिंग एंड डू दिस कैंपेन अगेन बिकॉज मैंने अभी तक पंद्रह स्टेट्स की है राइट एंड दैट वाज फुली फंडेड बाय माय फैमिली नाउ गिवन दैट ये भी काम करती है मैं भी काम करता हूँ हम दोनों ने ट्रीटमेंट लिया है तो ऑब्वियसली एवरीथिंग मैटर्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कॉम्प द मॉनिटरी पार्ट ऑल्सो तो वो चीज हमें रोक रखी है द डे वी विल बी एबल टू गेट दैट दैट अमाउंट ऑनली दू स्पेंड ऑन दैट कैंपेन यू विल सी बोथ ऑफ अस ऑन द रोड the 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 bike is ready, the, uh, the plan is ready 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 plan only thing which is not ready is not the, the monetary part right right so that's how we got connected right? and then उसके बाद में एक बार हैदराबाद आया मेरे फॉलो अप के लिए देन आई मेट हर पेरेंट्स दैट टू इट वॉज वी ऑलरेडी स्पोक अबाउट इट बट इट वॉज नॉट एन ऑफिशियल मेड अबाउट कैंड ऑफ समथिंग मैं इसके घर गया और I told her see I cannot be with you unless I get a job she was absolute and see the the thing which made me मोर कॉन्फिडेंट फॉर हर वॉज शी वॉज लाइक तुम काम नहीं भी करोगे कभी तो मुझे प्रॉब्लम नहीं है राइट और ऐसा थोड़ी कि लड़का काम करे तो लड़की नहीं करे या लड़की काम करे तो लड़के को करना जरूरी है राइट ये सब जो टैबू है अननेसेसरी है सोसाइटी के कि जैसे बोलते ना कि मर्द का काम है कमाना लड़की का काम है घर चलाना ये सारी चीजें और मैं आई लिटरली हेट ऑल दीज थिंग्स राइट एंड ये सब मुझे जो मिला है ना ये मेरे पिताजी ने दिया लाइक माई फादर इज एब्सोल्यूट अनऑर्थोडॉक्स पर्सन राइट He is, he never he never said anything ki ye mat karo ya ye karo it's just that given that there is so much of friendship between me and my family right and that to post after cancer it increased to wo confidence hai mere andar ki unhe pata hai ki main kuch galat nahi karunga aur mujhe pata hai ki agar main kuch galat karne wala hu na to probably ya to main piche hat jaunga ya fir i had a reason to do it right 
गलत गलत होता है लेकिन उसकी भी एक इंटेंसिटी होती है कि कहाँ तक किया हो तो बस मैं इसके पेरेंट्स से मिला एंड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हर मॉम आज टू हर इन तेलुगु वर्स वर्स डिट यू स्पीक इन तेलुगु नो टेल व्हाट 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 दिस यू आई आई लेट ट्रांसलेट लेटर यू टेल देम देम शी आज नो आई टेल यू इन कुंडी आंसर सो शी आज दैट इज ही मैरिड सो एवरी मॉम इज द थिंग नो सो कि भाई लड़का आया है सिंगल है कि कैसा है करके बट आई डिडंट नो दैट दैट टाइम now though i don't understand telugu i can still decode now because it's been two few years that i can like uh, understand some words so that's how we connected and then uh, last year she want we wanted to get actually she, her parents uh, actually wanted to get me to get married but then obviously maine career dobara se start kiya tha mujhe 5 6 saal ho gaye the kaam karte hue lekin fir dobara start kiya ab main kisi nayi jagah pe hu mujhe thoda samay lagega us job ko samajhne mein what if mujhe ko fir se chhodna pad jaye right तो मैंने बोला मैं तो नहीं कर सकता अभी एंड शी वाज एब्सोल्युटली सपोर्टिंग ऑल द टाइम व्हाई आई एम सेइंग दिस बिकॉज 15th मार्च 2024 दिस ईयर वी वर सपोज टू गेट मैरिज मैरिड ओके बट अगेन आई वांटेड डिन वांट टू गेट मैरिड क्योंकि आई फॉलो न्यूमरोलॉजी अगेन दिस इज समथिंग अबाउट द बिलीफ राइट और आई चेंज्ड माय नेम आल्सो लाइक माय नेम वाज सॉर्ट ऑफ फ्यू इयर्स बैक 10 इयर्स बैक देन आई ऑफिशियली चेंज इट लीगली टू हरतीज तो मुझे बहुत बिलीफ है वो भी इसलिए क्योंकि मेरा भाई न्यूमरोलॉजी करता है तो नीदर आई पेड हिम फॉर न्यूमरोलॉजी सो आई कैन ट्रस्ट समवन हु इज फ्रॉम माय फैमिली राइट ही विल नेवर वांट रॉन्ग फॉर मी एंड नीदर इज गेटिंग एनी बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ दैट राइट तो आई जस्ट इंसिस्टेड हर कि एक साल और रुक लो सी शादी करना इज नॉट द प्रायोरिटी रादर बीइंग हैप्पी इज द प्रायोरिटी राइट और हम इसलिए ही तो ये सब कर रहे हैं एंड दो फैमिली एक्चुअली ऑब्वियसली डिडंट सपोर्टेड इनिशियली बट देन शी वाज वेरी सपोर्टिव एंड शी सेड कि तुमको ये चाहिए तो हम करेंगे एंड दैट इज व्हाई this whole engagement came into the picture because we already went to a temple uh, for the bookings we we don't want a big fat wedding we just want our siblings and parents to be in the temple and we wanted to get married but kyunki ye sab hua and my mom recently had a surgery hip surgery she can't walk so i thought ki this is the right time to delay uh, why i want to delay and bring in the engagement into the picture so fir i just uh, suggested them and they agreed और uh, अभी अप्रैल छह को हम इंगेज हुए हैं रीवा में तो मतलब उस अगेन दिस वाज जस्ट 50 या इफ आई हैव गिव यू नंबर प्रोबेबली 75 पीपल वर देयर एंड दैट टू इंक्लूडेड द स्टाफ ऑफ द होटल एंड एवरीवन तो 75 लोग आए थे और uh, मैं बहुत क्लियर हूँ इस चीज को लेके लाइक ले, बोलते हैं मुझे बुलाना है एंड देन यूजली सोसाइटी में क्या बोलते हैं कि हाँ हाँ बुलाएंगे बट आई एम वेरी क्लियर अबाउट इट की आई एम सॉरी आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू कॉल यू not that we are some celebrity or something but this is what we want we just want a simple wedding with very few people just our people it doesn't mean that other are not our people but just very those people who have seen our journey who have been a uh, part of our cancer or let's say a uh, few people who have seen me from my childhood so that that's pretty thing me abhi bhi raji to kya karega kya yes that's the thing yeah <laughs> right it's what both interesting and it's so typical of you know the girls mom ki ladke ko dekh ke ki are ye you know yeah. achhi match ho sakta hai i mean they are the best matchmakers jinka yeah. and, and i i do believe jo intuition unko hoti hai wo kafi had tak sahi bhi hoti hai you know they are very right they have such a great intuition and though she did not understand what he spoke because she, uh, my mom doesn't speak hindi mm-hmm. so she mm-hmm. did not understand a bit but then after he left she asked me and <laughs> so, i did go one thing when when his brother, her brother asked kaha mila so <laughs> she responded with instagram so that's how i connected that he asked ki kaha mila ye and then she responded to instagram pe mila as a girl matlab quite open hai sab kuch jahan pe bhi mila hai jaise bhi mila hai theek hai ha and 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 so you you will be getting married next year or maybe yeah know? the dates are still as i said numerology i follow so i already uh-huh. have it with me so yeah. february i have three dates and probably in those three dates we will try to like use one date depending yeah. on my siblings and everyone's availability mm-hmm. okay so actually i'll uh, open for uh, all the audiences and they can raise hand if they have any questions but before i even i take the question from the audience mera mera question ye hai ki you know when you decided to actually officially getting married and and make this thing public you know you both are together so what were your initial uh, fears you know about the uncertainty of the life yeah aisa kuch tha to you know you were you were not even thinking or you had certain thing and you wanted to 
think or deal in a certain way. Yeah, yeah. So I'll talk about the adoption first and uncertainty. Mm -hmm. So see, you are absolutely right on the part with when with when you brought that uncertainty word, and then to that I want to talk about what after us, right? Like there are two people. Now, what if my cancer comes back or her ca cancer comes back? We have to be very practical mm -hmm. about it, right? So, this factor. So, we have to say that we will be in the same way. But in the society, there are many things. If there are two people, then there will be another one. Right? Now, I will talk, because I am a lawyer, I will talk with respect to adoption part. She will give you information about IVM. Now, adoption is in India. You can adopt it. Right? There is a process. There is a... Uh, Website called CARE, C A R E. If you just find it, okay? Kara, Kara, I'm sorry, Kara, C A R E. So, you will get data. But if you have a random time period, you will get data. 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 You just said about the IVF part, then I'll continue. Yeah. Like, apart from IVF, also, obviously, to prevent recurrence, we are undergoing our regular follow ups. I mean, we have a three monthly follow up, six monthly follow up. We are doing that regularly. We are trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle and uh, we are obviously, you know, taking care of our insurances and that, but we are trying to be financially stable yeah. so that if any, like, if anything happens, we might be able to deal with it. And coming to the children part, we have obviously discussed about all these things because uh, I have a specific gene which might get transmitted. So, I can give the gene to the next generation. So there are multiple options by which you can, uh, you know, avoid this gene to your children. But then we thought, uh, like, uh, it's better to adopt and give life to other children uh, rather than creating our own children. That is what we thought. See, though his cancer is not genetic, it is not proven that he, Hodgkin's is genetic. But then what cancer I have is obviously genetic. And if we uh, strongly feel that we want our biological children, there are obviously ways by which you can avoid the risk to your uh, like uh, kids. So for now, we thought we'll not have kids. I, in case if we are having any in future, we might go for adoption rather than a biological child. So that is what we have thought about the children part. And uh, diet, exercise and all these things is something we both are interested in. So this obviously will like the all the lifestyle habits will obviously impact your uh, journey. If not cancer, maybe other lifestyle diseases can also be prevented. Yeah. So because not all cancers are preventable. So I we take care of all these aspects. Uh, so I think that is what yeah. we are following. So with respect to the third uh -huh. person, this is we are very uh, like uh, vocal about it. Like when even this engagement happened, I posted a post regarding my siblings kids who were surrounded abhi was sitting in front of them uh, on the stage and they were part of our journey i mean obviously not her journey but they were there when i was undergoing treatment they were giving me water medicine they saw me vomiting all the time they have gone through the, to that trauma as well right and I, I always say that more than a cancer patient is the caregiver who goes through the trauma right so I wanted to speak about it and that was a perfect opportunity to talk about this thing which I just discussed now. And so it's not important to see everyone has their own will. Somebody wants to have a biological child, appreciate it. No wrong in that. But then it's up to us, right? So we decided that oh, this is for sure. When I say this, we, can't, we it might be changed in future. Yeah, but then definitely. exactly. But if you have, I have to give a percentage uh, of this decision, it is 90% sure, 99% sure that we will not have a biological child. And adoption part also, we will explore about it if you want to do it or not. So we need to understand that just for our own happiness uh, or let's say anything, we cannot risk any a third person's life. And it can go in any way. He can or he or she can have a cancer gene if it's a biological child. Even if it's adopted one, we can get a cancer reoccurrence in the future. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not thinking negative. Mm -hmm. Rather, it's thinking Practical. practically and you know these facts right it's not that we are trying to presume or assume things which which, which, which might happen right it's not the way this can happen there are many, many uh, uh, like stories which which which, 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 which mm -hmm. we can come across so that's what we have decided as of now so for now we are hopeful that as we are following a healthy lifestyle we will prevent the recurrence like we'll try our best but yeah. it's not obviously Correct. completely in our hands we are just hopeful of a good life, healthy yeah. life. And yeah. she is so much into yoga. I am too much into gym. Uh, so I guess 
I'm, I, I mean, I take things from her with respect to yoga. I make her work out sometimes. I like going gym with her. So that's how we try to spend time because her profession is something else. Uh, she go, Sometimes she goes in the morning and comes midnight also, like because of the uh, scheduled deliveries and all, right? I am a corporate employee. I have a scheduled time. Though, I mean, my, also, my work also includes a lot of pressure, but then from this time to this time, I will have pressure and then it's done, right? So that's how we try to spend time with each other apart from uh, the time we get uh, because she lives with her sister. So I have to come to her place. And obviously I stay 20 kilometers away from here. You know Bangalore, right? I stay in uh, Kalyan Nagar and she li lives near uh, Karam Kora Mangla. So that is also something uh, which we can't do all the time. Uh, it's just that uh, I came back to Bangalore yesterday. So from airport, I came directly. So that uh, and this... Uh, Meeting was here today, so we thought we'll have it from uh, like here, her place only. But thanks. I think what you just said was uh, uh, practical with positivity. I think that's the key, which which is helping you to you know make certain decisions and dealing with fears and uncertainties. Uh, Meulji has something to say. Yes, Meulji. Salute, salute to both of you. I love you guys and. Respect and aapke liye baut bad gaya. Looking at your thought process. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, I, I, I've I been seeing your journey virtually and I, I I was the most happiest person that even I saw that picture of you both on, on, on your engagement time. So uh, yeah, I'm, it's making me smile from inside. I, I have... We started the cancer matrimony group because uh, we, when during in my ten years of journey, I saw people, you know, their houses falling apart and uh, couples uh, marriage breaking and all, and that really hurt me a lot. Uh, fortunately for me, I was married before my cancer, and uh, I'm, I'm sure my wife would also not have left me out. But uh, I was very disheartened to see once we, the person is going through so many problems, and again there's something new thing coming up. So we started, and I'm sure that you will be a role model for all the people coming there and watching this video. One thing I would like the audience, people are listening and uh, would listen like uh, Hartej is a person I would go to if someone is in need of blood. I want you to tell Hartej how you got that network and, and uh, how you got into it and how he responds. Like in a minute, he will respond back with what, what, what all details he wants. So please, yeah. thank you. Uh, so before answering this, you just said that there are uh, like people leave, couple leaves uh, to their partners, right? So I will tell you that even cancer patients, like she had cancer, let's say I don't know her. I am a cancer patient. Uh, uh, she doesn't know me. If I come to her, she will say no. So I know these kinds of people as well. Mm -hmm. So even people who had cancer don't want to be with the people who had cancer. So forget about the society, right? People who don't understand cancer, it's not their fault also. So first, even the people who are uh, dealing cancer firsthand, they don't want to be part of that. So, ye bhi ek alag kissa hai. now coming to the thing, blood donation part. When I had blood, tha, transfusion was done, my chemo ke time, my uh, counts down. I have so much money, I have helped my touchwood, God has helped me, my siblings, ne, ki I can afford to have a blood when I need, right? It was B positive. Even B positive, you don't get money from money. ठीक है कितना 700 800 रुपए ही देने पड़ेंगे बट सब कोई 700 800 भी अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते ठीक है और कभी-कभी फ्री में भी हो जाता है बट अवेलेबिलिटी ही नहीं है तो कैसे करोगे है ना तो मुझे चीज ये तब समझ में आई कि यार हमारे पास एक्सेस होती हुई भी हमारे को मिल नहीं रहा सो दैट वाज अ थॉट प्रोसेस ड्यूरिंग माय ट्रीटमेंट कि जब मैं ठीक हो जाऊंगा तो दो चीजें मुझे करनी है कैसे करनी है मुझे पता नहीं एक है कैंसर अवेयरनेस दूसरा ये जो ब्लड का लफड़ा चलता है आए दिन कि मुझे ब्लड नहीं मिल रहा है उसको ब्लड नहीं मिल पाया ये चीजें कुछ सॉर्ट आउट करना है और ये दोनों चीजें हुई एक ही चीज से वो है कैंपेन जो मैंने किया ऑल ओवर इंडिया बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट जैसे मैं मान लो रायपुर से स्टार्ट किया और मैं नागपुर गया अब नागपुर में मुझे पांच लोग मिल गए मेहुल भैया मिल गए समरक्षणी मिल गई और कोई चार पांच लोग मिल गए मेरी आदत है सबसे पूछने की कि तुम्हारा ब्लड ग्रुप क्या है आई सेव द पीपल नंबर अलोंग विद योर ब्लड ग्रुप राइट तो अभी कैसा हुआ मुझे अगर बी पॉजिटिव चाहिए आप नागपुर में रहते हो तो मैं बी पॉजिटिव लिखूंगा तो मुझे जितने लोगों का लिस्टेड है वो सब आ जाएंगे और मैं नाम ऐसे सेव करता हूं मेहुल व्यास नागपुर बी पॉजिटिव सो दैट मेरे को फिल्टर करने में आसान हो इस तरह से मेरा ब्लड का फिल्टर हो जाता है अब अभी आपको मैं जानता हूं आप दस लोग को जानते हो नागपुर में तो मैं आपको रीच आउट करूंगा आप उसको फॉरवर्ड कर दोगे राइट right? कि भाई किसी को ब्लड की जरूरत है 
इस वजह से ये जो कैंपेन पंद्रह स्टेट्स में हुआ और लगभग पच्चीस सिटीज मैंने कैप्चर की और गाँव में गया मेरे पास एक नेटवर्क बनता गया लो कॉमन लोगों राइट जिनके पास मोबाइल है और व्हाट्सएप है राइट फोन है नंबर है मैं कॉल कर दूंगा तो मुझे मेरे पास इवन आज बॉम्बे ब्लड ग्रुप भी है लाइक आई नो पीपल हु हैव बॉम्बे ब्लड ग्रुप आल्सो इन मुंबई दे आर सम फ्रॉम फ्रॉम मुंबई यू नो फ्रॉम शी नोस फ्रॉम हैदराबाद आई नो समवन फ्रॉम पांडिचेरी तो इस तरह से नेटवर्क बन गया और अभी तक अगर आई नेवर केप्ट अ काउंट ऑफ इट बट अगर मैं प्राउडली घमंड करके बोलना चाहूं कि कितना हमने किसी की हेल्प कर ली होगी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ब्लड डोनेशन इफ आई हैव टू गिव अ नंबर एवरी डे at least one from past eight years we have been able to provide blood for free aur kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai ki aate hi nahi jaise aaj kuch nahi hai mere paas aaj kisi ne nahi maanga right kabhi kabhi din mein 10 aa jate hain aur kabhi kabhi to aisa hota hai ki koi bypass surgery mein hai usko 10 unit lag jayega ya fir koi pregnant lady hai jo bahut khoon jiska loss ho gaya now she will obviously need it so that's how ye network bana aur sab koi help karte hain har sab koi yahan pe koi I I always tell or sab log, uh, uh, bolte na, diplomatic ke liye ki, I am just the the face of it, it. but there is a, uh, like peop, so many people working behind me. That is the truth actually, right? Agar lo, main bolu, aur aap nahi doge, to phir to kaam ho gaya wahi pe na. Phir main kahan se, aap mujhe tag karte ho aaye din. Abhi recently mujhe jaga tag kiya tha aapne. I responded to them immediately. So agar mujhe dik gayi wo cheez ki mujhe kahi kisi ne tag kiya hai. To rest is on me. I'll definitely make sure ki एटलीस्ट मैं अपनी तरफ से पांच दस कॉल कर लू जितना हो सकता है और हर जगह हर जगह के ऑलमोस्ट ब्लड ग्रुप्स डोनर से भी एसोसिएटेड हूँ जैसे बैंगलोर में एक ग्रुप चलता हैदराबाद में एक चलता एनजीओ है बहुत सारे तो मैं सब जगह फॉरवर्ड करता हूँ मुझे कभी मेरा खुद का भी एक एनजीओ है लेकिन मैंने अब तक उसके बारे में बात भी नहीं की तो मुझे ऐसा कभी नहीं लगता कि किसी एनजीओ का नाम आगे आ जाएगा या ऐसा कुछ इज जस्ट दैट द पॉइंट इज कि जो बंदा को हेल्प चाहिए वो पूरा होना चाहिए राइट So I always just forward it just by writing verified by her teacher. I do never mention about my NGO also because कहीं उनको ये ना doubt आ जाए कि हम इसको क्यों आगे बढ़ा रहे, right? मैं उसको वहीं पे रोक देता हूँ. मेरा नाम इसलिए लगाता हूँ मैं क्योंकि अगले को trust बन जाए कि मुझे पता है इस बारे में कि सही है. That's it. और luckily ये काम कर जाता है. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You're telling something. No, I, I, I'm done. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Rupaji wanted to say something. I saw raised hand. Yeah. Well, I think I'll just say that I'm tremendously impressed by this young couple. They are young. They have cancer. Uh, cancer is a word which is uh, it's not horrific, but the Indian response to cancer is horrific, both in the older circles and in the younger circles, and in uh, all generations across in society. Hats off to you. You're very vocal. You've got getting married. you're setting your own uh, terms and conditions with your parents with society with your relatives you're adopting an adoption you got your insurance in place you're helping out you're here really hats off to you i wish you all the best and uh, any help or any sort of thing you need from all of us we are always here thank what you what a wonderful uh, session really really impressed and, and insurance part i never had it so i always talk about it that it will kill you if you don't have insurance so she had insurance she like she and in fact there are three people uh, in her family, in who, family who, who are going through cancer over the period of time mm-hmm. luckily all of them had uh, insurance so i always tell my friends and all the acquaintances to have insurance because insurance has literally saved my family yeah. if not for insurance we would have been like uh, left with no money that is how it was because every person's cancer treatment at least costed around 10 lakhs for us and we have Even like 20, more than yeah, 10 yeah. Like, yeah, more than 10 Uh, so we have three cancer survivors in the family so it must have costed around 40 to 50 lakhs which is yeah. way more than our saving yeah. so i i you know i made sure all my friends took uh, insurance i made sure all my nursing staff took insurance they were like why this doctor is supporting us to take insurance but then that eventually will help them because when i was uh, taking insurance i was around 27 and I, at that time the premium will be less once you take it in the later age it will increase yes. and then you know it will be difficult for you only so i always suggest everyone to take the medical insurance well i didn't have insurance uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah if someone has told you to have an insurance you would have uh, definitely thanked them we just had about 5 6 lakhs of insurance and all we did was at our age you you know you accumulate money and whatever so we just broke yeah. the fd and that's it but i'm glad you're talking about this and i'm very very uh, like you just said that you know people i've got friends who had cancer 
I've had friends, husbands who passed away from cancer, but they don't accept it. They don't accept it. And it's I didn't have uh, insurance. <laughs> so luckily, my siblings, I have five, like I'm youngest of five, right? So given that everyone was working, that is why my cancer treatment went through, right? I never had, I mean, I never had to create a campaign to uh, fund my uh, treatment. But then uh, given that my siblings were there and my parents, obviously, they came across uh, together and then helped me out. So I always tell that insurance is very important. The society here in this part of the world, we usually don't take insurance. Most of the people, right? That why we should be spent around yeah. 20,000 rupees a year. To, because yeah, why, why would we need it yeah. but when you need it it will be just too much right so insurance is very important if somebody is listening to me uh, please take insurance and when you get diagnosed with any disease irrespective of cancer or anything get it treated right away do not delay the treatment and don't go for any fluke that it will uh, they will give you some other treatment to get cured no you will not get cured at least for the cancer I can watch out for you will not get cured from other alternative uh, treatment and if you got cured I'm very happy about you. Yeah, after allopathic treatment, yeah. if for maintenance and all, yeah. if you want to yes. take other treatments, that is fine. Along with allopathy. Yeah, yeah. again, uh, I mean, it all depends anything on comes, belief. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It believes and everything comes after allopathy. Right. And if your oncologist also says, Ki haan, karlo, to karlo. if he says no, nahi mm -hmm. Very practical and very, very important uh, uh, advice. Insurance. Ke uh, anybody else who want to ask or say something to our guest today, mm -hmm. uh, please feel free. Uh, I, I, I also see uh, uh, one uh, more person who we can invite in one of our sessions here, uh, Dr. Nikhil. Recently got married and uh, yes. if possible, Dr. Nikhil, please come up on video and we would like to uh, congratulate you. All. and hopefully we can get you one day on the session ah, dr nikhil has been already invited yeah, but yeah. he mentioned that he's traveling so once he, oh, okay. once he get his time i mean once he's available we'll definitely have him and i think both uh, of them yeah Therefore, i think uh mr Sridhar also has a question and krishna also has a question yes yes um Shridhar, I'll, 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 Shridhar ji, you are on mute if you want to ask you're on mute. Oh, okay. I don't have any question you to ask. I'm spellbound. All my blessings to this young couple. Thank you. Full of energy. Thank you, sir. They have nearly encountered death. But they said, I have a sentence that they will live, they will live, they will not die. I am a survivor at the age of 73. I know the importance of insurance. Though I didn't burn my all my fingers, but still, just two months before I was diagnosed, I had cancelled one of my policies. So all the policies that we have raised here are so important, so important, so important for everybody in this world. God bless you both. Once again, that is all that one I can thank you, thank say you. right now. Thank you, Shreya. Um, Krishna? Copy uh, that. So, yeah. I, I don't have any question. Um, Like, you know, when uh, when I'm narrate kar rahe the, like there's so many things that I could relate to like you know um, I had cancer when I was just 12 years old. I recovered very quickly because of you know everything. But when it came to marriage, it was like a slap on my face, a, such a harsh reality that came on me that I couldn't get married because I didn't, I had cancer, like no after no after no. And in fact, once I was uh, like, uh, my profile was forwarded to a cancer survivor and he said no to me because I was a cancer survivor as well. So I have passed through all phases of marriage rejections with survivors without cancer and it's so funny how the world is. So yeah. then, you know, I then put marriage on secondary and started focusing on my professional part. But I mean, your story would be like, I want to like, you know, I'm going to write maybe like a 
cover of how you guys are going to be you know taking forward your life as a cancer survivors both getting married and probably it will help you know us you, like I want you both to be on the front part of our matrimony group now and you know like if anybody has you know questions about what should I do if they want to get married to a cancer survivor we have a doctor herself who is going to help us with answering those questions um, and both of you are like damn inspirational i i was also like you know as mehoji said that when we i saw your post on facebook i was having my lunch and i was like wow and i was telling all my colleagues about how you know you both survivors are planning to get married so wish you all the best congratulations again and you are an inspiration just keep doing what you're doing and I hope you be a part of our cancer matrimony. I want you to be a part of it and help me take forward. I'm sure Thank you'll be a really, really helpful, uh, you know, people to work with. <laughs> sure thing. I, I have already promised uh, Mehul, uh, we are a long time back that whatever is needed from my end with respect to anything. And obviously this uh, cancer matrimonial thing we discussed once. Uh, we we often connect on video call with uh he guides me for my career like I wanted to know a few things with respect to uh, his profession which he is doing right so I am pretty correlated with that so we keep on talking about everything so anything needed from our end we are always available uh and if people are listening to us uh if you have heard about our campaign we are looking for someone who back us out uh, like for our campaign because we want to get back to the road I have my bike ready somebody wants to help us on that please come forward and uh, obviously we can discuss about it accordingly and also thank you from my side i'm uh, very much happy to see so genuine uh, you know happiness from all of you you know it's almost like a family everyone is feeling happy for us though we are not related to you in any way so uh, it just makes me you know feel like my heart is filled with all the wishes thank you so much related by heart you yeah. can't say you're not related. And obviously cancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anuji has to say something. Sorry, sir. Uh, yeah, yes. I mean, yeah, hi, good evening. Yes, good evening, Am Anuji. I yes, Am yes. I audible? Hi. Yes. Hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, it's great to know about both of you, actually, whatever I was listening for some time. I think I was on and off due to some technical issues. But uh, uh, the I I love I love the term you mentioned. You know, we bonded over cancer. That uh, actually mm -hmm. sounds pretty cool, right? I mean, of course, in a positive way. So, uh, my question to you both is like you were talking about uh, gym, exercise, yoga, and all. So I was wondering, like, what is that? Is is there any particular exercise or particular yoga you do, or is just that you want to follow? Because you also mm -hmm. mentioned about the diet. So what exactly does that mean? Because, you know, I am also a cancer survivor and I also have been, in fact, I have been doing yoga for the last 20 plus years. And I was a bit, you know, shocked when I got to know about my condition. And I still do that, of course. And uh, probably the side effect of, of cancer is where, you know, after the surgery, that is after two years of the surgery, I have uh, this uh, lymphedema that is, you know, my right hand is kind of uh, swelling even now. I've already mentioned about this in a CSA group as well. So I was just, you know, uh, wanting to know what is that you were talking about, the diet and exercise in particular. Yeah, so a flat answer to this is there's no specific diet and there's no specific exercise. Now, mm -hmm. when I was undergoing treatment, there was no specific diet. My doctor never asked me to have uh, stop anything. But from my end, uh, I don't know how scientific this sounds like, but I stopped having uh, artificial sugar, which I anyways never used to have. But then let's say if I used to have tea also, I stopped having tea with artificial sugar. Probably I was having uh, sugar through fruits and dry fruits. So that is what I stopped during my treatment. And I stopped eating non veg that time because now that I'm undergoing chemo, obviously my gut will also be not good. So it takes a, a bit more time to... Uh, right. digest the food right so that was my own decision not because of anyone post cancer I started doing normal yoga because I was so weak I cannot lift weight right I need to increase my immunity first get that stamina so I yoga shuru kiya kuch 3-4-5-6 yoga kiya I yoga kar liya I gym mein jana shuru kiya 
जिनमें भी मैं कोई बहुत बड़े वजन नहीं उठा रहा हूँ जस्ट टू फ्लेक्स दो मसल्स जिससे थोड़ा सा स्ट्रेच हो जाए देन ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई स्टार्टेड पीपल डू जिम दे आज के तुम डेड कितना कर लेते हो तो आई एट प्रेजेंट आई कैन डू वन ट्वेंटी इट्स नॉट अ स्मॉल वेट पीपल कैन डू वन सेवेंटी ऑल्सो बट जस्ट सेम बींग कैंसर सर्वाइवर आई एम एबल टू डू इट सो वॉट पॉइंट माई पॉइंट हेयर इज कोई स्पेसिफिक डाइट या कुछ भी नहीं है हम तो आपको पता है कि अच्छा खाना क्या है चावल दाल रोटी सब्जी जो भी होता है राइट इसमें नॉनवेज भी आप ऐड कर लो अगर आपको खाना है तो आई एम अ बिग टाइम हार्ट फॉर नॉन वेजिटेरियन शी जस्ट समाइम्स इट इट शी इज नॉन वेजिटेरियन बट मोस्टली इन टू वेजिटेरियन राइट पर मैं तो बहुत नॉन वेज खाता हूँ राइट बहुत नॉन वेज में भी क्राइटेरिया है एक रेड मीट का और एक नॉर्मल जो नॉन वेज है नो आई हैड थिंग्स अबाउट रेड मीट सो आई हार्डली हैव रेड मीट इन अयर दैट टू जस्ट फॉर अ बाइट बट मैं नॉन वेज तो बहुत खाता हूँ अभी अभी भी बट ट्रीटमेंट के टाइम नहीं खाता था तो अभी डाइट जैसे करता हूँ जिम के टाइम पे अभी फ्रॉम फोर फाइव मंथ्स आई नॉट बीन डूइंग इट बिकॉज आई ब्रोक माई फिंगर दिस फिंगर बट देन जब मैं जा रहा हूँ तो अपना वही एक्स खाता हूँ वी नीड प्रोटीन बाय द वे इंडियन फूड डजेंट कम्प्राइज ऑफ प्रोटीन हमें अगर प्रोटीन चाहिए तो जरूरी नहीं कि हम नॉन वेज खाएं प्रोटीन के बहुत सारे सोर्सेज हैं लेंटिल्स हो गया सोया हो गया राइट right? हमको डाइट में प्रोटीन हर हाल में इंक्लूड करना ही करना है हम हर हाल में अगर हम प्रोटीन नहीं ले रहे हैं तो हम हम कुछ नहीं खा रहे हैं हम खाना बस पेट भरने के लिए खा रहे हैं और कुछ नहीं हमारे शरीर को फ्यूडे नहीं मिलती तो प्रोटीन चाहिए ही चाहिए अब आप किस तरह लेते हो वो आपकी अपनी पर्सनल चॉइस है तो टू एड ऑन टू दिस आई टेक वे प्रोटीन ऑल्सो सो पीपल से नो दैट प्रोटीन पाउडर लेने से ये होता है वो होता है नहीं ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता है अगर आप कोई चीज नकली लोगे तो जाहिर सी बात है पानी भी नकली पियोगे कुछ मिला होगा कंटेमिनेटेड होगा तो आप बीमार हो ही जाओ सेम विथ गोज विद प्रोटीन पाउडर ऑल्सो राइट सो do what you want to eat there's nothing wrong in it make sure that what you ever you eat eating is uh, from a better brand uh, or you are a trusted one right to so, whey protein to baat ki baat hai khane ki bhi baat kare hum to ande vande jo bhi hai main sab khata tha aur quantity mein khata hu and there's something called calorie count right so let's say if i want to lose weight and gain muscle not everybody wants to become muscular or hit the gym but even if you don't want to do it you should still should eat a calorie uh, counted diet so that neither you go uh, heavy on yourself neither you lose weight so that protein aa raha hai sharir acha hai thoda fat sharir mein hai koi bimari bhi aaye to ladne ke liye fat chahiye ye aisa nahi hona chahiye ki main gym mein itna strong hone lagu ki fat hi nahi rakhu to fir mere paas kuch aisa reh nahi jaye stamina right to ye sab ka ek balanced diet banana chahiye uh, in fact we both are now doing a course for the same thing right yeah. kyunki abhi to main aapko scientifically har cheez nahi bol sakta i'm not authorized to do it right but the day i got a certification for that i can like uh, count on myself only that ki ha main jo bata raha hu it's technically proved uh, or let's say scientific so we both are doing it individually and obviously the day we uh, are uh, certified obviously we'll uh, talk about this also so the bottom line is we are not following any kind of diet yeah. we are just taking a healthy diet and yeah. trying to maintain a healthy weight we are uh-huh. doing regular physical activity which always helps us in uh, you know maintain your health also also our mental health also yeah, if yeah. you are uh, yeah. regularly working out your mental health is balanced if so I, yeah. uh-huh. if i'm not working out and if i have to go to office that day that whole day is my like messed up for me though that's a uh, mental thing which i have just uh, made on my mind but jis din main gym karke chala jata hu na us din aur jis din nahi karta bahut difference rehta hai so पानी पीना चाहिए अब अगर मैं दिन के दस दस लीटर पीऊंगा तो कुछ नहीं होना मेरा बट यू हैव टू ड्रिंक एटलीस्ट बेयर मिनिमम नॉर्मल एडल्ट शुड ड्रिंक थ्री टू फोर लीटर इन अ डे किसी को बीमारी है नहीं है कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता चार लीटर पानी पेट में जाना ही चाहिए दिन का yeah i guess it depends it depends on the patient as well yeah exactly so, uh, as normal adult as in as i said a normal adult uh, not someone who has mm-hmm. some issues but a common person should drink 3 to 4 liters in a day so basically what you're saying is it's a combination of yoga or yeah. gym or some sort of exercise yeah, absolutely sort of yeah exercise. all right just go into any sports you don't even need to do yoga i'm just saying no, not mm-hmm. don't go to the gym don't go to do the yoga get yourself into a hobby which will help you physically also so let's say uh, if you uh, 
uh, start playing some sports like i'm not saying that you can't play cricket but let's say if you want to play it individually you can go mm -hmm. for table, uh, sorry badminton court right get yourself yeah. enrolled to a nearby place where you can play uh, every day right or just swimming also swimming is one of the best exercise which i don't do because i uh, i'm afraid of water but swimming is one of the best exercise one can have in their life it helps you in everything yeah i i love swimming and i actually uh, do then, it every then you year you don't need to uh, hear from us what should be done with respect to <laughs> yeah because i don't do swimming and i actually don't like that thing about me but uh, okay. I can't. She has been doing yoga uh, since twenty years, so yeah, yeah. she's almost a teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's that's the thing, you know. It's like I've been doing yoga and I've been yeah. exercising, but still, what yeah. is that, you know? Yeah, something and shocking which has happened to me, yeah. kind of thing. You don't need a so, for sure. Yeah. Yep. I just have another question. As you were just mentioning about some course, so if I can ask, what is the yeah. course you were talking about? Where so there are both of your planning? Yeah, there are multiple nutrition courses. So we are just oh. to uh, INFS, INFS course. Uh, mm -hmm. You just cite INFS on your on Google, you'll find it. And not only that, you do anyone. It's a, it's just about uh, educating yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's not about a particular course that you need to do that one only. Somehow I oh, know some people from that fraternity, so I know that course, so I did it. And I mean, I started enrolled. enrolled. I didn't do <laughs> so. I'm yet to start that. And yeah, so any course you feel that this is where you can relate to, please go ahead. In fact, do you want to do yoga? Why don't you get? I mean, people see it that way. No, if I want to learn yoga, I might not go out to her, given that she's not certified, and probably you are certified. That's how people give uh, have trust on people, right? Get yourself okay. certified on yoga also. That gives a other person confidence that okay they are reaching out to the right person yeah yeah that sounds great yep thank yeah. you so much thank you thank you anu and uh since we are towards end of the session this is token of appreciation from our end i hope you are able to see my screen yeah i can yeah, yeah so i'll i'll share this uh on whatsapp as well and feel free to share on your social media just stop sure. sharing screen and i'm mean, really very very thankful and we are, we are very happy for uh, both of you and if no one else has anything to you know uh, say I think she Sheel, has some question I, I see she yeah yeah he's raising his yes sir. please bolye aapko kuch kehna hai yes yes ma'am actually main abhi abhi is group mein juda hu cancer survivors in india aur main samrachni ma'am aur har teej bro ko bahut bahut congrats karta hu aur थैंक करता हूँ वो इतना अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं मैम मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि मेरे फादर को अभी अभी कैंसर डायग्नोस हुआ है और हर चीज ब्रो मैं भी सतना से हूँ आपके रीवा के बगल से तो हमने वहाँ पर जी एक महीने पहले ही हमने वहाँ पर एक बहुत अच्छे डॉक्टर हैं राजेंद्र नायक जी आप जानते होंगे उन्हें दिखाया था फादर को कुछ प्रॉब्लम थी तो उन्होंने अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी कराई और उन्होंने वही बोल दिया था कि लीवर में प्रॉब्लम है और ये स्प्रेड हो गया है तो हालांकि वो इतने अच्छे डॉक्टर हैं उन्होंने साथ इस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बोला होगा कि आप कहीं मत जाइए कि जानते हैं या हो सकता वो ठीक होने वाला ना रहो जो भी रहो उन्होंने मना कर दिया कहीं मत भटकिए और आप तसल्ली के लिए जबलपुर जा सकते हैं जबलपुर में भी उन्होंने अच्छे डॉक्टर को रिकमेंड किया था तो सैटरडे को हमने दिखाया था मंडे को हम जबलपुर गए हमारे भैया फादर को लेकर के और वहाँ डॉक्टर ने पेट सिटी सॉरी पेट सिटी नहीं एबडोमिन सिटी स्कैन करवाया था एबडोमिन सिटी स्कैन में भी ऑलमोस्ट सेम चीज ही निकली और वहाँ के डॉक्टर ने भी सेम चीज बोली तो उसके बाद हमें ये लगा कि यार ये तो गड़बड़ हो रहा है कि साथ ठीक नहीं होंगे उसके बाद हम गांव आ गए और फिर हमें लगा कि अब फादर को नहीं पता था उस टाइम पे हमने ये सोचा कि फादर को पता नहीं हम एक बार ये चीज किसी कैंसर विशेषज्ञ से एक बार रिपोर्ट ले जाकर के समझ लें तो मैं फादर को नहीं ले गया एक डॉक्टर बीएचयू के रिटायर्ड डॉक्टर हैं काफी सेवेंटी नाइन ईयर्स एज के हैं मैं उनके पास रिपोर्ट लेकर के गया था उन्होंने कुछ मेडिसिन लिख दी उसमें से जो एक मेडिसिन लिखी थी ओरल कीमो कैपेसिटा वाइन और कुछ और सुपोर्टिव मेडिसिन लिखी थी लाइक प्रोटीन पाउडर विटामिन एक्सेट्रा वो बीस दिन के लिए हमने लिया और ये बोले थे कि एक बार पेशेंट को लाकर दिखा देना उस दौरान हमने फादर को मेडिसिन वगैरह दी और वो बोल रहे थे कि हमें अच्छा लग रहा है मतलब जो उनके पहले प्रॉब्लम थी जैसे पहले उनको खांसी आ रही थी और खाने में अच्छा नहीं लग रहा था भूख थोड़ा कम लग रही थी फादर हमें ये बोल रहे थे कि अच्छा लग रहा है और मैं बताना दू 
शील जी अगर आपको तो मेडिकल इससे पहले कैंसर के बारे में कुछ भी नहीं पता था हाँ शील जी अगर आपको जी मेडिकल मैं मैं थोड़ा सही बताना चाहती आपका मेडिकल नहीं मेडिकल मेडिकल है या हाँ बोलिए जी आपका अगर हाँ मेडिकल ये क्वेरी मैं है हाँ देखिए मैं ये मैं कह रही ये बोलना हूँ चाहता हूँ कि मेडिकल क्वेरी है अगर ये डॉक्टर को लेके है नहीं तो मेडिकल आप क्वेरी नहीं है मेरे को गाइडेंस चाहिए थोड़ा सा मैं गाइडेंस लेना चाहता हूँ उसके बाद हमने यहाँ गुड़गांव में हमारे भैया रहते हैं हम यहाँ आए हैं हम कैंसर जो एन सी झज्जर में एक एम्स है हम वहां गए वहां पर डॉक्टर से मुलाकात हुई और दो दिन हमने मुलाकात की पहले तो डॉक्टर ने मना कर दिया मैम थी उन्होंने मना कर दिया कि इनका प्लेटलेट्स कम है प्लेटलेट्स हमने चार अप्रैल को कराया था उनका प्लेटलेट्स थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड आया था तो प्लेटलेट्स कम है तो आ, कुछ नहीं हो सकता उसके बाद हालांकि सॉरी सिक्सटी थाउजेंड हाँ थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड था प्लेटलेट्स कुछ नहीं कर सकते आप ले जाइए फिर भी हम गए अभी परसों गए थे तो परसों मैम ने फिर फाइनली समझाया कि इनकी प्लेटलेट्स थर्टी हमने अभी रिसेंट वो करवाया पेट सिटी फिर हमने अपने से करवाया पेट सिटी के लिए भी नहीं लिखा था हमने पेट सिटी करवाया कि हमें पता चले कि ये कहाँ से ओरिजिनेट हुआ और कहाँ कहाँ स्प्रेड हुआ है पेट सिटी में ये समझ में आया कि लंग्स से मैम ने बताया कि लंग्स से ओरिजिनेट हुआ है और ये अदर पार्ट में स्प्रेड हो गया है स्पेशली लीवर लीवर का काफी पार्ट ज्यादा मोस्ट ऑलमोस्ट पूरा पार्ट उसने ले लिया है तो अब हमें ये समझ में नहीं उन्होंने ये बोला कि एक लाख अगर हो जाती है आपकी ये प्लेटलेस तब उसके बारे में कुछ इलाज किया जा सकता है उस कंडीशन में ही बायोप्सी होगी और उसके बाद पता चलेगा कि ये ट्रीटेबल है या नहीं है हमारे फादर की सेवेंटी थ्री ईयर है और अभी हमें कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा क्या करना चाहिए हालांकि हमने सात अप्रैल से पैटा सिटा बंद कर दी है तो चार अप्रैल को करा था थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड प्लेटलेस था फिर हमने अभी दो तीन दिन पहले कर ग्यारह तारीख को तो सिक्सटी शील जी सॉरी बिकॉज आपका ना ये पूरा मेडिकल क्वेरी आप हमारे पोस्ट जो पोस्ट पोस्ट करिए फेसबुक ग्रुप पे और वहां पे कोई ना कोई आपको जरूर रिस्पॉन्ड करेगा बिकॉज दीज आर टू मेनी डिटेल्स एंड अवर गेस्ट आर नॉट ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट राइट आई मीन कोई और हैं जिनके जिनको इस बारे में ज्यादा अच्छे से जानकारी वो आपको बेहतर गाइड कर पाएंगे तो आप वहां पे प्रॉपर पोस्ट करिए समबडी विल डेफिनेटली मुझे मुझे सिर्फ इतना है कि जो भी क्वेरी है ना आप उसको पोस्ट कर दो ग्रुप पे ठीक है सब लोग आपको आंसर करेंगे और मेरी तरफ से सिर्फ इतना ही है कि कोई भी दवा दारू ऐसे मत ले लो जो जो रजिस्टर्ड मतलब जो अभी ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट ना हो इसीलिए हम भी उसका जवाब नहीं दे रहे राइट तो जो भी आपकी बाकी सोशल मीडिया में हम सब अवेलेबल है राइट आप मुझे पर्सनली भी मैसेज कर सकते हो ग्रुप में भी मैसेज कर सकते हो जैसे ही आपको कन्वीनियंट हो राइट आप वो कर लो क्योंकि हम हम मैं तो ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट नहीं हूँ मैं आपको उसमें एडवाइस नहीं दे जी, 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 नहीं दे पाएंगे राइट जी, जी, जी ग्रुप में डालो आपको जितना और डॉक्टर्स भी उसके हिस्सा हैं वो आपको आंसर करेंगे ठीक है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल क्योंकि भी हम डॉक्टर्स हैं हमारे ग्रुप में और अगर किसी का सिमिलर हिस्ट्री रहा तो मे बी वो अपने एक्सपीरियंस के बेस पे आपको कुछ बता सकते हैं बट यहाँ पे आई थिंक जो हमारे आज के गेस्ट है वो ऑंकोलॉजिस्ट तो है नहीं तो उनसे ये एक्सपेक्ट करना की उस चीज का जवाब देंगे वो ठीक भी नहीं है नहीं ठीक है नहीं बस मैं ये ये जानना चाहता था कि हमें कहाँ जाना चाहिए कहाँ लुक आउट करें इसके बारे में बात करेंगे आप वहाँ पे डालिए और जिसे वहाँ पे डालिए आपको रिस्पॉन्सेस मिलेंगे मिलेंगे मैं ही सबसे पहले रिस्पॉन्ड कर दूंगा बस आप एक बार डाल दीजिए तो प्लीज आप पोस्ट करिए हमारे गेस्ट डॉक्टर्स नहीं है वो नहीं रिस्पॉन्ड कर पाएंगे इस चीज के चीज को लेके एंड वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू पुट पुट सिचुएशन जहाँ वो लेके नहीं हम नहीं बता पाएंगे मेडिकल क्वेरीज के लिए हमारा ग्रुप है वहाँ डॉक्टर्स भी हैं दे विल ऑल्सो रिस्पॉन्ड नमस्कार पहली बात तो मैं प्रिवेंटिव ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट हूँ ट्रेन और हमारे दो जो यंगस्टर्स हैं उनका सर्वाइवल स्टोरी मैंने थोड़ी सी सुनी में लेट आया था तो पहली बात तो मुबारकबाद फॉर देम टू कम आउट एंड आई रियली अप्रिशिएट बीइंग पार्ट ऑफ दिस ग्रुप द रीजन व्हाई आई एम टॉकिंग राइट नाउ इज दैट आई यूज टू बी विद द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एज डायरेक्टिंग द नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कैंसर प्रिवेंशन फ्रॉम आईसीएमआर एंड कैंसर सर्वाइवरशिप इज समथिंग एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट टू अस नाउ आई हैव सुपर एनुएटेड एंड वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट अ कोर्स on cancer survivorship for for doctors training of doctors you most doctors don't know anything about it or very little at least doctors nurses and chos so my request really was that uh, if you have so many survivors in the group and some of them i'm sure will be happy to 
talk about their experience, just like we talked about earlier today. Uh, so would anybody be interested in uh, giving a sim similar five-minute uh, bite on Zoom to these doctors uh, who are being trained? We are going to start from next month onwards. It's a six-year six year long project that we are embarking on. I run an organization called the CHIP Foundation. I'll post the details on the social media so that people know that it is a there is no commercial angle involved, first of all. So we are not asking any money. We're not giving any money. This is an entirely not-for-profit organization using the Echo platform. You're using Zoom itself. So once in three to four months, I might ask some of your survivors to just talk about their journey, how they have faced the situation and what they are planning to do ahead and helping other people. That is my request. In case folks are interested, I'll be very... And that I'll... Normally, do not post anything because my idea is to know what this group is about and what are the facilities available, how people help each other, right? So that is the reason why I had joined. And in case I can help in cancer prevention, I'll be more than happy to do that online, of course. So my only request was that uh, uh, any of you people who are interested, uh, either as a caregiver or as a primary, uh, as a patient, as a not as a patient, as a uh, champion or the survivor, I would say, a fighter. I'll be more than happy to have you on our talks uh, to doctors. Sure, Avi, sir. So thank I you mean, so much for your very doctor. kind uh, attention and I really appreciate being part of this. We are up for it. Please, uh, I mean, uh, find a way to connect to us. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I think the social media is the best. The Facebook is exactly. easiest. And I'll, I'll put in a request where, as in when required. Uh, Dr. Ravi, uh, I just uh, sent you uh, my my WhatsApp number. I'm I'm one of the admins of this group. Uh, uh, please connect Excellent. with me, and I can get you. I'm, 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 we have many survivors who are open to talk. I know. I'm, I th th thank you, Mehul. I really appreciate it. I will I will uh, definitely be in touch with you as and we go along. With just definitely. about starting, we no, haven't even got our official papers as yet, but uh, we are very keen to start. And you know, since and I know most of the people. Uh, Oncologists in India and I close work very closely with the All India Institute uh, Jhajjar that uh, the NCI they were talking about. I was involved in the beginning of it. So um, without going into any further details of our friend from River, he, I think he's in the right place. He should not try and go here and there. But I mean, this is not the right place to give advice. Thank you so yeah, much. Definitely. And we would lo we'd love to have you in the group. You know, uh, we definitely sure. want people like you who uh, are ready to help others. Uh, definitely connect with me, uh, uh, Dr. Ravi. And we'll I'll, I'll do that, Mayo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Ravi. Glad to have you. And yeah, we'll connect with you, as Mayo has said. It's, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So thank we are you. closing for the day. And thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you, uh, Samrakshani and Hartej, for uh, today's session. And let's yeah. catch up sometime in Bangalore. Just yeah, what, a second. Uh, I always say a term which is let's make fighting cancer cool. So the purpose cool. behind all this is <laughs> that yes, uh, cancer happened, but post that there's a that you say no, that there's a light after tunnel, right? So let's make fighting cancer cool and we will be fine absolutely. So don't lose yeah. hope. I, I have I have one thing to say before before I let you go, Hatijan uh, Samrakshini. Uh, I am emotional today. There were tears coming in my eyes when I was listening to you, you guys, and uh, uh, I, I could not. I'm, I, I'm not the person who. Can, I'm very sentimental kind of thing. So, hats off to you again, and uh, I'm reaching out to you uh, sometime uh, today or tomorrow, and we let me know about your uh, uh, the the ride. Um, okay. Jo karna hai. And we and my group, and uh, we will see how we can, uh, you know, try to help you out. And I, I'll talk to people and uh, maybe... That's a great we'll boost. Definitely. And we have to put a trailer in the middle of the trailer. Please, please, please. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone, for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.